Hello everyone, TKC here. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be talking about Kaijudo Sealed Pack, or Sealed Deck, however you want to call it. But basically how it works is you open packs, you look at the cards that you got, and you make a deck out of it and play with your friends. So this weekend on Sunday, which was just yesterday, I managed to bring a friend and we played Sealed Deck. I had 16 boosters lying around, we each took 8 packs, we made 30 card decks, and had loads of fun. I'm going to be uploading those videos tomorrow. One of them is going to be a match, and the other video is going to be me talking about the decks that we both played and what we ended up getting in our pools. Today, I managed to talk with a certain somebody that I will not name, and this person did not really agree that 8 packs, 30 card deck is the right thing to do. Okay, so here's the quote. Eight is way too many for 30 card decks. You only need six packs for a 40 card deck. Okay, so this was this person's original idea. Six packs for 40 cards. So you get less cards, but you have to make a bigger card deck. Now let's evaluate what a possible card pool you can get out of those packs, all right? Six packs, nine cards each. You get 54 cards. That means you are not using 14 out of your total pool. Now, there are five civilizations, right? So if you were to, you know, have a perfect average of all the cards, you'd have like 10, 11 of each civilization. Now, 40 cards, right? Okay, so this pretty much means that if there's 10, 11, 11, that's still not even close to 40, and then another 11, okay, there we go, we're at 40. So with that format, that would pretty much mean that no matter what, you would be playing a four or five color deck in your Kaijudo Seal deck. I don't think that's fun at all. I mean, cool, you're playing four or five colors, I mean, you get to do lots of different things, but at the same time, it's like, you know, what's the point of that when you could have, you know, awesome three color decks instead of just throwing in whatever you could possibly use because you can only use four or five colors. I mean, personally, that makes no sense to me at all. After I pointed out that this makes absolutely no sense because you're just gonna be throwing in cards that you just don't wanna play at all, you're just like, oh, okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. And then you're at like maybe, I don't know, 25 cards. And then you're like, okay, let's just throw in this 15 and we're making a deck. That's not the right way to play sealed in my opinion. You know, I want to have fun playing sealed. I don't want to buy packs just to, you know, make half a deck and then throw in things just to make it a deck, you know. Uh, of course, there are challenges in sealed deck. You're supposed to have some sort of challenge where you get really close to completing a deck and then you're like, okay, which cards should I play? Should I play this or this? I don't know which one's better, you know? And then you end up using a card that, you know, you may not want to use in your deck, but at the same time, it still might have some sort of use. That's what I was trying to explain um, to this person. Now, this is the response that I get, okay? So if you're always playing cards you want, then what's the point of doing sealed? Six packs for 40 should be fine. Now get this, play Magic the Gathering more. Play Magic the Gathering more. Okay, let's make this perfectly clear here. I am TKC. I am the Kaijudo channel. Now, if I were to play MTG more, what happens to Kaijudo? What happens to this channel? I don't see the point of this. Of course, there's no problem with playing more than one game, but if you want me to play MTG more, I'm gonna be playing Kaijudo less, and by doing that, this channel will crumble, you guys will be sad, and I will be too because I can't see myself playing Magic the Gathering for that long. It's a great game, don't get me wrong, it's easily the king of all trading card games. It's what made it big. It's like literally, the trading card game that everyone thinks about when we think about TCGs. And while that is true, that does not mean that every other TCG should be degraded to a level that is, you know, far beneath MTG just because MTG is like the first TCG, it's the best, it has the best support, best prize support, all that stuff, Hall of Fame, you know, everything like that. That does not mean that you could downgrade other TCGs like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Kaijudo, and Vanguard, and all those other games. If you remember in a previous video, I actually went to a Magic pre-release. And I went to a Magic pre-release for the first time ever. 
I have never played Magic the Gathering properly in my entire life. All right, I only entered it just because friends showed up, they convinced me to play, and I'm like, okay, cool, I'll give it a shot. You know, Kajudo is, you know, similar to Magic on the surface level, even though it's really not the same. You know, it's similar-ish in, like, mana and colors and all that. But, you know, when you go deeper, both games are very, very different from each other. So, I mean, I played the pre-release. I look at my cards. I'm like, all right, here's my big stack of cards right here. These are my pre-release cards. Okay. Now, you get a pool of, like, 70 cards because you don't count the lands because you just get lands given to you and you put it in your deck, right? So... Five packs of 14, pretty much, that goes up to 70 cards. You get pretty much at least, like, 12 of each color. Now, in Magic, they have lands, right? You need lands to put in your mana to cast these cards. Well, because you need lands, that means that you are actually running a lot less of these spells, which is what it's called in Magic. Like, all cards that are not lands are spells. Okay, so there's creatures, enchantments, spells, I mean sorceries, instants, and all that. Typically, from what I've been hearing and seeing, the typical amount of lands you play in sealed is 17. Meaning, your deck is pretty much 23 cards, 17 lands. So, you have like 23 relevant cards. Of course, the lands are relevant too, but the 23 cards are the things that generate advantage or are big creatures or things like that. In Magic Sealed, even though you get five packs, you get this huge pool and you can play like two different techs out of your pool. Like in this pool, I could have went blue-black control-ish kind of thing or what I did, which was green-white aggro because I had this guy and you could pretty much control their attacks and then you just play a bunch of small things and then you just go in with everything, no one blocks, you win. You know, things like that. So I went two and two at the pre-release and I've never played Magic, and I had a lot of fun doing it. So I won a prize. That was cool. It's just not the same. It's not the same. I mean, colors, sure. Mana, sure. The lands make a huge difference, and then the mechanics that go on in Kaijudo and Magic are completely different. Magic, you're dealing life, and your opponent doesn't get any advantage from it. In Kaijudo, you're hitting shields, and they get a card for free, or more. In Magic, you can't attack creatures that are tapped. You have to go straight to the player. In Kaijudo, you can attack tapped creatures, meaning you could get advantage off of that. You know, things like this. In Magic, you get mana screwed because of these lands. These lands, you know? So with the way he was suggesting to play 40 card decks at first, means that you would have to play 4 or 5 colors. Now, in Magic, that is pretty much impossible in Sealed, you know? You get mana screwed easily. You're like, okay, swamp, swamp, uh, it's a plains, bleh, you know? Things like that. And because of that reason, Kaijudo is awesome because every single card can be played as mana. You could play this awesome card in mana. You can play this card in mana. You could put whatever you want in mana. That's what's really cool about it. Now. That doesn't mean that it's an excuse that you could play bad cards because then they could be used as your mana. In Magic, you don't play crappy cards just to have crappy cards in your deck. You know, in Magic, every single creature or sorcery or whatever you're playing tends to have a good use in your deck and not be there just to be there because you needed more cards. So while he says that sealed should be, you know, hard to make your decisions, just look at Magic's official sealed play and you could do lots of different things out of your pool. Now if the you know best TCG allows you to have a really open pool, why shouldn't Kaijudo? That's what I'm trying to say here. Now he does bring up some good points though. I do admit, number one, eight packs is a lot of money. It's like 32 bucks retail. That's a lot of money and you know it's not quite affordable. Then again, the lead designer of Kaijudo already said himself that they were designing Kaijudo without limited play in mind. Limited is just a fun thing that players can do to enjoy the game in a different way. 
So with six packs, I mean, you're only getting 54 cards and even 30 card decks for six packs. I feel that it's still just not enough. I mean, sure, you'll have 24 cards that you're not using, but I've heard people who tried that and they were just like forced into playing cards they just don't want to play, like Writhing Bone Ghoul and, you know, Buoyant Blowfish and all these like random cards that just don't belong, you know? That's another thing that Kaijudo and Magic have a huge difference is that if you, you know, look through your cards, it's pretty rare that you'll see like a vanilla card or a really crap card in your pool. Like, like I'm just going through all of this and I still haven't seen a single vanilla creature yet. Kaijudo base it, however, I haven't done the math yet, but there's at least like four or so vanillas in each civilization. That's 20 bad cards in a 120 or 180 card set. I'm still going. Still no vanilla card. They all have abilities. All of them. Here we go, finally. Finally a vanilla. After all this, we get this guy. He just is a 0-4. So he's like a blocker, kind of. And then you just you keep on going. One more. Here's another one. Two. So there you go, three vanillas out of your big 70 card pool. Now, in a Kaijudo pool, you're bound to get at least like, you know, two or three per pack, almost. So your pool out of six packs, you end up gonna, you're gonna get like 10 to 15 vanillas easy. And those are spread out amongst all the colors. And then once you choose like three colors that you're gonna play, you're gonna have like, 25 cards left, and then you're gonna be like, ah, Writhing Bungle, Aqua Soldier, you know, things like that. And it's just, it's so gross just thinking about how you have to force yourself to playing these bad cards that you don't want to choose. You don't want to play them. I mean, look at what I did in my deck in that sealed deck with eight packs. I made a full out Mega Bug sweet. I had like almost 10 mega bugs in my deck because I pulled so many out of those eight packs. If I had six packs, it wouldn't have been possible. You know, I wouldn't have gotten that Xenomantis. I wouldn't have gotten Launcher Locust. Or I just wouldn't have had enough mega bugs to actually support the archetype. Basically, with those two extra packs, sure, you're spending eight more bucks. whoop de doo At the cost of eight bucks, you get really awesome decks and you have a vast array of choices that you can make. Just like in Magic, you have like two choices pretty much. And you can do the same thing with an eight pack pool. That's what I'm trying to like prove here that six to make 40 is absolutely retarded. That makes no sense whatsoever. Six for 30 is plausible, but at the same time, you're gonna have like, you know, five cards that like are just throw-ins. You know, magic, it doesn't happen. You don't throw in cards. It's almost never the case. You just play the colors that are more prominent and then you just take the good creatures out of each color. There's no like throw-ins really. And splashes are really easy to do as well. So it even makes throw-ins even more impossible to happen because you just, you know, throw in a splash, throw in a search card, you're done, you know. So while this guy, you know, did have some valid points, at the end of the day, a lot of it did not make sense because he's comparing everything to magic and you know he's saying that magic sealed is not good so let's make it better in kaijudo by limiting our card pool i mean if magic has been doing so well for all these years and it's been fine the way it is why change that right you know he just wanted to prove that he's right because he plays magic and it's better than Kaijudo, so I should play Magic more. And then, you know, he keeps on going on about, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Don't talk about this to your fans. It's a bias. They're all going to be biased about it. Well, I'm here to ask about what your opinion is on Kaijudo Sealed. Do you think that 8 packs for 30 is a good idea? Do you think 6 for 30 is a good idea? Uh, have any of you actually tried sealed with your friends? What did you guys do? Did you like it? 
you know, I want to get your opinions on the subject. I don't necessarily want you to agree with me because that's not what I'm about. I want to know what you guys think. What what do you guys think is probably the best way to go about Kaijido Sealed? So hopefully this debate, you know, can come to a close with what you guys think. And um, I'll end it off with some awesome sealed deck videos to demonstrate how fun it is and what kind of deck types you can make out of such a big pool like that. So anyways, guys, this is TKC signing off. Hope you had a nice day, and I can't wait to see what you guys think. See you later, guys.